guys, um, it's me, Tony XD, and I will be teaching you how to play Tornado Destruction Simulator. Now, this video is actually going to be a tutorial video because I'm going to show you everything that you need to know about this game. So, um, yeah, anyways, so the first thing I'm going to show you is um, you have these options. You can either super run, run, or walk. Walk is just normal walk, and run is like normal run, and then super run, you run as fast as you can, which is pretty dang nice. Pretty dang nice. And also, you can like explore around the map if you want, and yeah, just explore the map and everything. Um, uh, so, what? Ne what's next? Oh yeah, so... This is the summon button right here. I accidentally clicked on the button. And if you do not see that, it is, it is to the right of your screen. And I hope you all can see it because, you know, it's a, easier. Um, so if you click on this, which I already did, um, here, here's our, there are two options. Um, you can either click on tornadoes or weather. We're going to go to weather first. We're not going to go to tornadoes just yet. So we're going to do weather. Um, so here are the options. There's not a lot of options for weather, but there's a little few. Um, lightning, lightning, for example, um, should take some time for. It. There we go. I don't know why it brightens like that, but it's fine. Um, yeah, this is normal lightning, and if you go to super lightning. It's more crazier. It's cra- yeah, Super Lightning is pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's- that's coming soon. Um, Spawn Fog. Now for this one... Um... Yeah, this one will fog your screen up. <laughs> I- 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 I mean, it's- it's something I wanted to add in. Just to make it like, to make like, oh yeah, there's a tornado in the fog, like, it's early in the morning, OMG. It's like a roleplay, ow. It's kind of like a roleplay thing, if you want to add fog, you may. Yeah, nighttime. Yeah, everything is, well, it's, it's going to be pitch dark, so, uh oh, we're not going to do that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, cold storm, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a it's a storm, but it's more wider. Can I just spawn these? I don't know. Hold on, this is weird. Sometimes these spawn options are weird, and I can't, you know, get rid of them. It's. Uh, I might have broken the thing. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Okay. I want to. Alright, there's a storm. That's what we need. So, uh, this is what the storm looks like. This is just a regular storm. Um, yeah, there's only like a few options, not much. This is coming soon, so you're going to see that in the future. Um, so now we're going to move on to the tornado. Uh, the tornado. Um, <laughs> tornado options, as you can see. We got Dust Devil, and Gust NATO, EF Zero, and so on. There's also these. This is. Where you enter the special tornado tier, there's only four of them: fast NATO, Gmod tornadoes, fire NATO, and ice NATO. We're not gonna like do. We're not gonna do all of these options in this. I'm just gonna show you how this works and stuff. So, like for example, if you like spawn in an EF, EF, um, EF two, as you see the siren goes off, and there's like this little GUI thing that's. You know, this GOI thing stands for that, it stands for the tornado's right there, or the tornado's location, and there it is. Now, this one is around the F2, and it's kind of, it's kind of rain wrapped, but not, it's not rain wrapped. This one will, this tornado will go anywhere you want, and they will destroy anything in the path, depending on how strong it is. Well, since it's an EF2, it won't do much. They will have different damage skills to them. So this one can do 
they destroy the house? Oh, it's damaging the crops. Alright, so if your volume is really high, I suggest turning your volume down to like to four at maximum and then down here. Because the sound, it, it's really loud. Like, it, it can be loud and it can hurt your ears. So, I, so my suggestion is to turn down the volume while you're at it. And, you know, have fun. Anyways, these tornadoes will die off. They will not last forever. Some people were like asking me, do the tornadoes die off? But they do. They just have a different time to them. So the, so the stronger the tornado is, the longer it lasts. Like, the EF-0 will last for a short time, the EF-5 Plus will survive longer and last for like 6 minutes, which is a very long time. Um, so yeah, that's how it would work. Also, another thing is that if you, if you're, if you, okay, so this is a problem that everyone has. Some people are saying the tornadoes don't disappear. Well, there's one problem. So if you're the one who spawned the tornado, do not go into it, or do not die. If you do die, and you spawn it in, the tornado will not die, and it's a bug, or a glitch, or whatever. I'm, I'm still trying to find a way to fix it, so, yeah. But other, other than that, your other, like, your other friends can go into the tornado, they want to, die, but the spawner, or the tornado that, they got, or the person that spawned the tornado, cannot die. Which is a problem. But anyways. So, um... Yeah. There's a coming suit option, which uh, we'll go through later. Not... No. Not really. I don't want to do it. Also, um... Oh! So, as you can see, tornadoes are hitting power lines. So, if a tornado hits anything like a power line, light post, Etc. Et it will either power flash or the electricity will die off and stuff like that. And also, the windows will break the tornado if the tornado makes a direct hit on a building, which is pretty freaking cool. And yeah, there are there are at least um, a lot of variants for each of them. There's like 30. Some of them do not have a lot of variants, like fire and ice, for example. But these, uh, the normal tornadoes, the F0, the F5 Plus, have a total of 34-ish variants, which is a lot of variants. It's like 100 tornadoes in total. Yeah, there's a lot of them. So yeah, this is, this, you won't, you're not going to only see this EF2. There's a lot more EF2s. But that, oh, there it goes. See, it died. So, since I did die, or I did reset it, the tornado will die off. As you can see, it just died off. All right, let's look at the damage. Don't think it did much. Yeah, it only took down power lines. Um, all right, I think I'm just trying to follow its path here. What did it do? I don't think it did much. Yeah, it only took down, it only did power line damage. Sometimes tornadoes do not want to damage buildings, which is perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, this house kind of took damage, but not much. Only windows shattered. Um, yeah, there's more down power lines. Someone's crops got, you know, obliterated. Um, so yeah, it went right here. So tornadoes do come in a different path, depending on where they want to go. Usually they move like up north sometimes, or this way, which is perfectly, which is totally like, a th it's, I think it's a thing in the game. But, unless I want to change the movement and make it more, you know, like that. Anyways, so anyways, um, yeah, so I guess that's all for the tutorial um, on, how, on how to play TDS, or known as Tornado Destruction Simulator. So yeah, um, thank you all for watching this video. Um, I'll be posting more content soon, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video.